So guys, for those of you that just joined me on my channel, my name is Jimmy Dali, and I'm here with young Henny, uh, otherwise known as Jay, in real life, and we are Hello, doing a sim rail. I'm on a bullet train right now. As you can see, I've never driven this bullet bullet train ever in my life. And it's quite easy to operate if you mind the speed limits. What happened? Scenario completed. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. That was quick. <laughs> so I was probably, I probably had like, uh, it probably warped me into a train that was one stop away from its uh, final destination. Wait, we're dropping to 40 kilometers an hour? What? What we got there? Oh, you just me oh. Just a few seconds. Ooh, I'm going 200 miles per hour, uh, kilometers, sorry. Oh, it's, yeah, there's people there. Ooh, I have a booster on this train. Nitrous oxide. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm stopping at Gora. <laughs> Twenty-two seconds, and we will be off again. Fifteen seconds. Ah, it does. Nice. There we go. Found it. Uh oh. Right. I messed up. Close them doors. Yeah, I messed up. I did something really bad. Let me see if I can. Did you derail? <laughs> no. I want that back then. Hmm. I don't have power anymore. Oh no. <laughs> Stay. It was fun. Oh wait, maybe I can activate the bot. There we go. So this this works like uh, OMG2. If you don't know what to do, just get the AI bot to uh, take over your bus. Yeah. Take control over the bus. if we have dynamic weather I've never nice. seen any weather I've never really looked into that I could find out I don't think so but I think it's on their roadmap yeah. it makes sense doesn't it seeing as we've got wipers yeah next stop Oh, we have to go down to 160. Dang it, I just saw that. Look at that. I think that were a better approach, right? That were a much better approach. Let's see what the doors. And one minute delay. Not bad. stop for long. another train coming in so that's a neat little feature that the game has guys uh, for those of you that aren't watching my video I lost complete control over the train I didn't know what to do because I flicked on the wrong button and I lost all kinds of uh, power <laughs> all you have to do is uh, hit the escape button let the uh, click on the activate AI bot let it take over the train, it'll reset everything to get it running up in working order again if you can't figure things out and then just click on manual control on the top of the screen pretty basic next 
stop 1.67 kilometers. My next stop is uh, Wasowa Poldnock. Mine's Piastal. We don't get a map, do we? Do no, no. Just that thing on the left showing you what the next stops are. I think I mastered this train. <laughs> and we're opening the opposite side I got 100 side points for stopping at the station. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> Nobody is getting on my train. Has anybody heard any more on the new Assassin's Creed game? Mm, no. I reckon E3 will be the place for that. Yep. So it'll probably come out in November or something. Wow, that will once again be very quick. Alright, we're off again. These very, very short stops. Old Samowich is my next stop. Bruskow is mine. Tell you what, this is it's nice and easy with this uh, cruise control. Absolutely. So I there you I... go, Alan. You know now you use these cruise control buttons. That one to activate it. Use these to change your speed. Nice and easy. No speeding going on. <laughs> Only I can figure out mine. You still got a different train. Yep. Still on that bullet yeah. train. Staying the uh, staying hydrated all the time. Pissing every two minutes. <laughs> oh crap! I need to take my antibiotic as well. Uh, how do you get AI to take over, Jim? Um, press escape. Yep. Oh, activate the bot. There we go. There you go. There he is. Why is he speeding up so much? Because <laughs> he yeah. knows what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, I had a cruise control. <laughs> right, I will be back in a second, guys. Oh, look at the wiper system. I like that. footrest adjustment. Faster. Oh. 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 Nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to 
drive through is Sama Witch. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing through. At least I'm able to do that. And we're going to overshoot big time because I'm not paying attention. Damn it. Well, that screwed us. You have passed your break. There's a lot of uh, camera sway when you're standing up on the train. And I mean a lot. <laughs> oh, what, did you jump out of the seat? Yeah. Oh, oh, 60. Oh, oh. It's got some 1440, it's uh, dipping quite a bit. I did notice before when we were playing it, I think I had it. I had it at 1080p, I think. And it was running fine. Oh, look at that, we've got a nice long run. Nearly four kilometres, then again. <laughs> when you do 120, four kilometres ain't that much. I could uh, tell you my settings real quick if you want. This unload vegetation outside a camera view, do you think that'd help it pop in? Yeah, that will definitely help if you lower that. But it's on Alright, so and it's where are we on? Mode. We're on custom. Uh, uh, 2560 yep. by 1440 at 155 hertz. Display mode full screen. Desync off. Yep. Disabled. Yep. Uh, 154 FPS. NDLSS quality. Well, it didn't make any difference for me. Full resolution. Yep. Render a thousand. Nah, I'm on two thousand. Yeah, that that is definitely going to take a toll. So, render a thousand. Traction render distance three hundred. I'm on five. You have all the that. sliders up. That's why you're you're killing your graphics card. That's what's killing it. But do exactly as as I say, but not as I do. And really? see how it performs. Yeah. So, uh, tra tracks, render distance 400. This is the default, by the way. I didn't touch is the it? slider. Huh. Uh, people yeah. rendering distance, 300. Yeah. Load bias full. Okay, uh, mirror is on. Yep. Screen space high, high, ultra high. All in a row, going down. High, high, ultra high. Uh, ultra high, yeah. Vegetation density, 75%. Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, vegetation draw distance a thousand. I don't know why my settings are all the way up here then, I didn't turn them up. Uh, draw grass, yes. Draw distance multiplier, 12%. LOD yep. switch distance, 60. Plant shadow, yes. Yep. Increase plant shadow distance, no. All right. Unload vegetation outside of camera view, yes. Car limit, 15. Yep. Motion blur off. Always. FOV, 70 and 70, and both horizontal and vertical. Give that a quick try. Yeah, give it a quick try and let me know how it feels for you. Excellent. And I hated the fact that I'm in the pause menu, the train doesn't stop. It just keeps <laughs> running. Well, it's multiplayer, isn't it? 
Yeah, but oh yeah, true. You can't. You're breaking the. Uh, you should have put your uh, your autopilot on. Yeah, true. Well, I don't think we're gonna do de derail. No, doesn't look that way. Unless you smash into an oncoming. Oh oh, look at that! Spot too soon. <laughs> really? Oh. Oh! We derailed it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> nice! Good way to end uh, the video. Look at that. Oh, God. Terrible. <laughs> right, that's going to do it for me for tonight, guys. But at least and we know, as well. we, know we, can, we can do it a bit. Yeah, thanks to Jimmy for joining us on chat and in game. Thank you for being here as well on my video, guys. Check out Young Henny on Twitch and YouTube. And, uh, yeah, this has been a little showcase of the bullet train, how you can catch, catch it on if you make mistakes. You can actually turn the autopilot off. But just a quick tutorial, not a tutorial, just a quick showcase of the bullet train. This is brand new on uh, SimRail. A lot of updates have come up and they keep coming. And we're over speeding, I don't want to derail. And uh, yeah, on Young Henny side, we saw uh, quite a few bit more. We saw the tutorial. Go check out his video as well uh, when it comes on YouTube. And check out his live stream. Make sure to just follow him and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, that way you can stay updated. And cheers for me. Love you guys. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Bye.